Before you begin, ensure you have read the thawing and plating protocol thoroughly and set up your hood properly. Also ensure the charm thawing medium is warmed to 37 degrees Celsius. Once you are ready, transfer your vial of cryopreserved hepatocytes to the lab. Transport hepatocytes from cryo storage to laboratory using a cryogenic container if at all possible. If your storage unit is farther away from your lab, place vials on dry ice or in liquid nitrogen for transfer. Vials should be transferred from storage to water bath as quickly as possible. Holding vials at the capped end, submerge cells in the 37 degrees Celsius water bath. You can swirl the vial or hold it steady. However, it is important to continuously monitor the vial while it is thawing. This should take less than two minutes. Once the last piece of ice turns to liquid, quickly remove vial and 50 milliliter conical tube of charm thawing media, spray with 70% alcohol, wipe dry, and place in biosafety cabinet. Remove caps from vials and the 50 milliliter charm tube. Pour the vial contents into the 50 milliliter tube. Rinse empty vial with a small amount of charm using a wide bore one milliliter pipette tip and then pour back into the 50 milliliter tube. Repeat as needed to ensure vial is clean. Replace the cap. Gently invert the tube at least twice to ensure a homogeneous mixture. Place charm tube with cells in centrifuge. Spin according to the protocol. Remove tube from the centrifuge, being careful not to disturb the pellet. Pour supernatant off completely in one fluid motion. However, do not shake tube to remove excess supernatant. Gently loosen pellet from bottom of conical tube by gently flicking the bottom of the tube. Once pellet is loose, add approximately one milliliter of media per million cells and complete the resuspension by gently rocking the tube. Check lot information for expected yield and viability. Perform a tripan blue exclusion count to determine cell yield and viability. Refer to the counting worksheet for instructions on tripan dilutions. Wait one minute. Mix suspension gently in tripan tube and slowly pipette into one chamber of the hemocytometer. Fill the other chamber so both sides of the hemocytometer are loaded evenly. Refer to the counting worksheet for instructions on proper counting technique. Once you have determined cell yield, dilute cells to recommended seating density for plating. Note. You can use either a serological pipette and pipette aid or a wide bore pipette with a pipetter to plate. Hepatocytes settle quickly, so to ensure little well-to-well -well variability, add cells slowly and resuspend hepatocytes with each draw of the pipette. Note, attachment efficiency varies lot to lot. You can find a general range of seating densities for each species and plate size. However, each lot will have an optimal seating density please refer to the Product Characterization Sheet, or PCS. Disperse cells evenly across the bottom of the culture wells. Move the plate in north-south and east-west motions repeatedly two to three times. After dispersing, do not disturb for four to six hours. Make sure the plate is undisturbed for initial cell attachment. After four to six hours, your hepatocytes will have started to attach and are ready for the first feeding into serum-free medium. You can also overlay hepatocytes at this feeding.